are you putting on your suit right now? Because these babies are hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Red here. Got a surprise for you. Come on in here, guys. Look, 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 look. Come on, come on. Red and Ralph. And good time, Charlie. Charlie, the... Charlie didn't get the memo, look. <laughs> oh, no, no. Cameraman wears the white shirt the workers wear. The three amigos oh, right here. Wow. The three That's amigos it. right here. And Charlie and I came here about six weeks ago to remove a hive. When we got here, the bees were pretty much already gone, but all we did was remove the comb. Told the homeowner, you got to close this thing up. Well, he didn't get it closed up, and a new swarm moved in. Yes. We and, take and, it out. Yeah, we're going to take it out, but they kind of they kind of got attitudes. They're hitting us right now, and uh, yeah, that's why Charlie got on his suit. Plus, he didn't want to show his white shirt where he didn't get the memo about the orange shirt today. You know, we've got a job to do. So these bees right here, <laughs> These bees can be interesting. This is a rental property, and the homeowners, the owners of the property, they actually want the bees. So, we are going to remove the bees from here, and then go over to their house and set them up. They're all pumped, they're all excited. They're brand new to this. They, don't, they had to buy all new equipment. So we're gonna go over there, set these bees up at their new place, by the grace of God, at the end of the day, these bees will be flying at a new home. You guys ready to wrangle? That's ready. it. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. As you can see, this is where the comb that Charlie and I took out last time. And as you can also see, he never did cover it back up. So, look at this. A swarm moved in, and now they're further back on the insulation. Now Ralph is just going to cut the insulation, the uh, sheetrock, remove it, the insulation, and we'll hit the <laughs> the bees. The bees are hitting the camera. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing going. Good morning, everyone. We're going to cut the sheetrock. I guess that's about two foot right here. We're going to cut this out, and I think the bees are going to be some way in this area right here. But we got a lot of insulation. So we're going to cut this out, gently take it down, and uh, see what we got. We're just going to use a jigsaw today because it'll be easier to control and it won't get caught in all the insulation. Ready, John? Oh, ready to go, man. Let it rock and roll, Ralph. Here they come. Wait. <laughs> Look how many bees are in this hive. This was a huge swarm. They haven't been here any more than three weeks for sure. So at this point, we know we're gonna find brood in there. And God, there a lot of bees. And it, there's the, the homeowners right there where the, the bees are gonna go. As look, can you tell they're new, pe new beekeepers? <laughs> I want to show you the insulation, what the bees do to the insulation. You can see how they chew the yeah. insulation. And so this, this was the... And what the, do they do? Well, this is also, um, they chew it as the comb is coming down towards the insulation. They chew it to make it flatter. Oh. And so they're reducing it. Okay, making room for the... For the comb. Okay. That's what they're doing. Wow. Thank you. 
see how the hip there is running? She's getting ready to come out. If she's in there. Oh, I see her. I see her. She's right. Right there. I see her. Hold it. I'm going to pinch her. She's a tiger stripe. on the wood now, I'm a grabber. There she is, right there. Poor baby. It's in there it, too. It, you get it? Look at it in there, Charlie. You get it, Ralph. Yeah, I got Look oh, at that you boy. got it? Alright. We got it. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that. That's a big queen. She she boy, she's a tiger stripe. Look at look at the stripes on her back. That is a beautiful, beautiful queen. Oh wait, I'm right. Sorry. It's been a while since I've seen one tiger stripe like that. That queen was just a master of not being detected. Down to the very end. Yeah, I mean, my arm was getting tired of holding the camera. Well, folks, <laughs> it ain't there no more. Now, normally, you know that I'll, I'll give a break as I'm working, but this hive presented a pretty interesting scenario for us. And what I was trying to avoid was to have the bees run beyond this blocking right here. I didn't want that thing to be removed. It would have been a bit difficult to spray the honey bandit back there. But, so what I was doing is as the bees were at the back side of the comb, I kept on vacuuming on the back side and then on the side over here on the right hand side. And then what I normally don't do is remove comb from the back, but I needed space back there to access the bees and plus by doing that I was forcing the bees onto the larger section of the comb where I was hoping I, the queen was going to run but she didn't she stayed back there so as it turned out she went all the way to the back and it was like the last <laughs> the last uh, be standing. <laughs> she went down with the hive. But we got her and all that's good. So we're gonna head up now to the homeowner's house and we're gonna set these bees up. <laughs> well folks, check this out too. Looks like we got us another job. Uh, as the homeowner was walking by, he said, what, what are these bees over here? Are they from our hive? And Charlie comes over, no, you got another hive in there. Sure enough, it's the same setup. This will be an entrance, but the bees are going to be in this area right here. When, when we look inside that, between those uh, joists, so that's our joists, you can see the space, and they're coming in. They're also coming in at this pipe right, right here as well. So there it is, a, a future job for us. All right, let me show you the bees, the queen, and then we're headed up the comb, and then we're headed up to the homeowners. Here we go with the, these are the bees, the vacuum bees. Man, that's a lot of bees. I, I'm telling you, somewhere 15, uh, 12, 15,000. That's a lot of bees in there. And here's all our comb. It's in great shape. Be able to frame this stuff up and get it into that box and get the bees right back on it. Go. Well, we are all ready to start doing some framing up of the comb. Now, before we do this, I got to tell you, world famous Mike Barry, he was the world one who was famous. world famous. He was the one who who told us about using this system of rubber banding where you take the seven inch rubber bands and you set them across your frames like this. And then you just place your comb on on the face of it and just put some more rubber bands. Now, Mike, World famous Mike Barry. World famous. World famous. Uh, Charlie, was he world famous? Oh, very world famous. world famous. World famous Mike Barry, you know, he likes a lot of that attention, but we come to find out, Charlie and I, 
We actually met the guy who came up with this idea of cross rubber banding using it this thing, and that is Kenny. That's right. It isn't, yep. I, and I can't remember Kenny's last name. So world famous Mike Barry is not world famous for the rubber bands idea, but he is world famous on YouTube. So Mike, you know, we got, we got your number on that, but we do thank you for passing on this great information on how to do this. So Ralph. It makes it a lot easier. Ralph, yeah, because before we used to use number 32 rubber bands and Chris, oh, it was, a, it was, it was difficult, but this system works really good. So Ralph is going to explain how all this stuff works. Yes. So what we're gonna do is just take the cone that we just cut out from the homeowners and then they got a top and a bottom. So you wanna put it to where the bottom is on the bottom. And you'll set it in there. Can you see that, Charlie? Got it. What we'll do is just put another band across. I think you can get another one. Think so? Yeah. They're big. We can trim it. So what we're gonna do is since they didn't Big enough, we're gonna trim it a little bit. We're gonna to try to keep as much brood as we can and trim off. And voila. <laughs> How many of them you think we're gonna get, Ralph? I think we'll probably get maybe all 10. Eight. Might be close. Eight. <laughs> Jeff says eight. eight. We'll it's only see. an eight We're frame box. box. <laughs> it is an eight frame box. So <laughs> use <of> ten. <laughs> so. We even got bees with this one. And again, we'll set it where the top is up. And again, world famous Mike Barry showed us how to do this. He did. He showed us how to do it. <laughs> That's world famous. Mike. World famous, yeah. Mike. <laughs> now sometimes when we do this, we, we have to trim the comb, but these pieces of comb, they just fit in there so beautifully. Yeah, they almost made the fit. Yeah. A lot of drone cone on this. Now one thing I did notice when I was doing the removal, there is like zero nectar in this stuff. So the homeowner, he's gonna have to be feeding these bees temporarily. I mean, we're right in the middle of the nectar flow and it should be okay, but these bees, the, the stress that removing a hive puts on the bees uh, moving into a new location, they don't have their GPS set. It's going to take them several days to orient on the spot. So during that time, they're still feeding brood. Brood needs to come out that has to be uh, fed. And so they're going to have to be fed temporarily. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm, I'm going to go get the queen so we can strap her right. in, all right? So what we're going to do, we're going to rubber band our queen in here. And the reason what we want to do, we want to take our queen and we want to put her inside the box because we're just going to release these bees and they're going to whoosh, they'll be flying up in the air. But they're going to come down because, two reasons they're going to come down, because we got their comb down here and we got their queen right here and then they're gonna, they're gonna come into the box. So it might, it might be a few minutes of chaos because Ralph and I are gonna be knocking the bees into that box and it'll be a little bit chaotic for just a few minutes and within 10 minutes, everybody will be happy and they'll find their queen and it's all gonna be good. So we're just gonna set her, it'll just be loose 
and um, we'll have to come back. Yeah, we will come back uh, and probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, uh, and and release her because we we want to keep the queen in the box. Otherwise, there is always a chance of them swarming out, leaving, astounding, leaving everything behind. And Jeff, what's going to happen to the rubber bands that you put on there? Well, eventually, the bees will start, once they attach the, <clears throat> the, the comb to the uh, frames, the bees will start cutting the rubber bands and then they'll start dragging it out. Ralph didn't like that location of the queen, so he wants me to put it on this one. Uh, I just oh, he needed more space in there. All right, Ralph's got all the comb framed up, and now we're going to get the bees and turn them loose. And what we're going to do is we'll initially lift off the screen, and we'll have a cluster of bees on it. Ralph's going to bump it into there, and then I'll start handing Ralph frames, and he'll be shaking the frames, and he'll be doing that frisbee toss oh. with the frame. I've taught him. Ralph's probably got about 30 hours under his belt with frisbee tossing or frame <laughs> tossing. And so he's pretty good. You notice his technique. He learned it from me. All right, here we go. If it hits anybody, it's just falling. Charlie, come over here. I want to I show people this. One of the most common questions I get is, does the BVAC kill bees? The BVAC is designed to have low suction. We have a, a gate on it that regulates the pressure in the box. And so we keep it at a very low pressure or low suction so that when we suck the bees through the hose, they don't get killed. Now, Inside, once the bees get inside the box itself, it's all dead air in here. And the bees can then crawl up the board and then onto those frames that Ralph just shook off. And you can see, there's not even a dozen dead bees in here. And, and another reason I like using this method of turning the bees loose is because all this junk that is in the bottom of the vacuum that we vacuumed up, it stays in here, and any high beetles that we vacuum, they stay in here too. So you can see the bee vac works really, really well to remove bees, and it's very safe for them as well. All right, we're gonna finish closing this thing up. We put the inner cover on, and then what we did was we took an old crank, one of the inserts, and we're gonna cover the hole up right here, because in a little while, the homeowner is gonna get a job of sugar water and put it over the hole and feed them. So in the meantime, to keep the bees from filling in the top box, we're going to put that over the hole and put the third box. So when they put the jar in there, it'll go right over the hole and it won't, the bees won't get them. They'll be able to just hurry up, take the jar, put it on, put the cover on. What's happening is now we have the queen inside the box. We release all the bees out here so now they're going to find the queen. So you can see how they're starting to march on in to the box. You can see where they're just walking on in. They're all coming down. And they're coming off the ground, up the cinder block, and marching into the beehive through the entrance. And within about 20 minutes or so, they'll pretty much all be in the box. And you'll have a few flying around, but most of them will be in the box. You got to get in the middle, Charlie. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. Because you're the cameraman. Let's and, see. and plus you got the white shirt on. And I got that's right, cameraman wears white shirt. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. Oh good deal. Perfect. Oh shot. I like when he said, oh that big uh, lip came out there. <laughs> <laughs> we're here. Yeah, we're and the job is finished. So, you know, I really I think I'm gonna grab the, the homeowners. Let them come in here too. Yes, thanks for the watch. Oh wait, too Charlie, early. Just, <laughs> hold on a second. Wait, let me grab. Let me see. Hey, Susan, Rick, come on over Rick. here. Come over here. But while we're waiting for them to come, so 
we we went over there, went over to the to the, to the rental property. Ralph, you know, in his expert normal way, just phew, opened that thing up. Cut but, it right open. Oh. Yeah, first try. He, like he knew where the bees were. I didn't even need the flare. Huh? Didn't need the flare. Got that thing opened up. Opened it up a little bit more. And then Charlie's shining that light and getting the light just right for the photography going on. Oh, he is good. He's got yeah. talent. <laughs> and then, oh, then, and then I, I went up there with the with the armor on, and I still got nailed. Didn't matter. And we took them bees out. That's it. And now we came back up here and we turned them loose. And <laughs> turned them loose. And then we got to go back and get some more. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna do that in about two more weeks. Yeah. So, all yeah. right. What about you, Charlie? What happened? What's your estimation? The the cutout was exactly two hours this time. It was two well, hours. Well, we got there right at eight, and it right was like at eight. ten till ten. That's when we left. it. I mean, it was fast. It was, it was a really nice fast. Easy one. The only the only the only thing was the queen held out to the very <laughs> very end. There wasn't a dozen bees up there, and that queen was still hiding behind those bees. But Eagle Eye found them. He found them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's it. All right, Ralph. Yep. I don't know what to tell you. Charlie said everything. <laughs> <laughs> but the man is but, gifted with that silver but, uh, tongue. <laughs> anyway, we all did good except Jeff was the only one that got stung. Oh, you didn't get stung? I nope, thought you got stung. Nope. Threw his suit on his lip. And <laughs> is that right? Are we going to keep talking about this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, and, <laughs> and Charlie caught it all. We uh, <laughs> pulled it all out. And look at him now, he can barely talk. Boy, Jeff will always talk. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me see if them homeowners are, are over here. Nope. Where'd they go? They done. Oh, here, wait, here they come. They're coming. Trust me, they're coming. All right, so here are the homeowners and now the, the brand new beekeepers. Beekeepers. Yeah, and yeah. so I want to, well, before I even ask a question, I got to tell you this. Back when I was mailmanning back in 1982 at Mandeville, Rick and Susan lived in Mandeville. I used to deliver their mail when they were living in Lewisburg. Really? And, yeah, you didn't know that. I told that to Rick. No, he told me. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> so I delivered their mail. I've been knowing Rick since. About 1984, I've been oh, knowing okay. him. Wow. Yeah. So, so now, what is that? That's uh, 20, 30 years later. Yeah, 30 years later. Right. And now Rick's now a beekeeper, and now his wife Susan too. All right. So, I, let me ask y'all, what was your just initial response to the bees and seeing what what, what do y'all think about today's adventure? I, I thought it was amazing. I've never seen anything like it. And um, I, I think I'm already hooked. <laughs> well, let me ask you. So, what 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 inspired you all to want to become beekeepers? <laughs> this one, the project guy. It's funny. Since I'm semi-retired, I started out in the backyard doing a lot of different things, and I've started looking at even maybe doing some chickens, just a couple of chickens for eggs. I did a little garden for vegetables, and now bees. So I saw it on YouTube and different things. And you didn't even know that Mr. Ed did bees. Huh? No. <laughs> But now I know. And I'm going to have a great mentor. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so so we're going to close up the video, Ralph. Charlie, come on. You got a great mentor with a big lip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> come on, Charlie, get well, in. We're all getting in. I got to get down. I got to right, get now, down here. Now, Susan and Rick don't know the drill because uh -oh. if you can believe it or not, they do not know we can't watch videos. We can't see Ralph. Ralph, can Ralph you, are you in yeah, there? Yeah, I see Ralph. Yeah. You in there? Okay. Uh, I see part of his face. You can lean over if you want. Yeah, come on. Come on, Ralph. Get on in. Get on in. There you go. Yeah, we this yeah, is, now, now we got this the This is family. the full crew. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the family. So we're going we're gonna to wrap up the video. And, and before we do, I'm going a, I'm to a just let him know. So we stay. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless. And then we're going to say all of our names. Okay? okay. All right? All right, so Charlie, you want to start it? Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed. Rick. Susan. Rick and Ralph. And you can't forget. Good time, Charlie. Good time, Charlie. We're out of here until the next video. God bless.